Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. And today is a really, really special day, because today the Daily Crossword is by Robert Wan, who's me. Um, I'm super psyched to be making my debut as a crossword constructor, in, in the New York Times, no less. Um, but since I constructed this puzzle, I thought that uh, instead of solving it, I would talk a little bit about it, uh, tell you what inspired the theme, a little bit about how I went constructing it, and how the process went with the New York Times. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And of course, if you're a daily solver, I would love if you would solve the crossword puzzle first and uh, and let me know what you think. Okay, so I guess the first thing to do is to, to look at this puzzle just like I would any other puzzle. Tell you what I like about it, tell you what I don't really like about it. There's stuff I don't like. Um, I have it loaded into a different solving software than the New York Times website because I want to be able to easily compare with previous versions. And that's obviously much easier to see when they're in the same format. So I guess the first thing to look at is the theme. And perhaps not surprisingly, I really like the theme. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who came up with this puzzle. Um, and one thing I like about this theme is that I think even after you've solved it, it takes a second uh, to figure out what exactly the theme means. Right? How is how how are black coffee bits bring in moon jelly related? What do they have to do with rock and roll? So hopefully you figure this out if you're watching this video. But each of the themers, the first half is a kind of rock, and the second half is a kind of roll. Okay, so black rock, coffee roll, bed rock, spring roll, moon rock, jelly roll. Uh, so I think of those, uh, black rock, I was not so sure about. So, you know, being a kid who grew up near New Jersey, black rock is very familiar to me as an investment management company, but I don't know exactly how well known it is everywhere. Um, I think fairly well known. How many? But like, I don't it probably isn't as well known as say like I don't know Goldman Sachs or or one of these hum humongous banks. But how many? They have eighteen thousand employees, so you know that's like a tenth the size of Google. But how many how many employees does Goldman Sachs have? Um, oh, you can't see this, of course. Goldman Sachs has... Does it say on this page? Oh, 43,000. Okay, so it's like a little bit less than half the size of Goldman Sachs. So I wasn't so sure about Black Rock. Coffee roll, though. Coffee rolls are delicious. Um, right, coffee rolls are these kinds of pastries that you meet, might eat with coffee. And we had Bed Rock and Spring Roll. I think those are both pretty unimpeachable. I also love Spring Rolls. Um, to me, I think of the Vietnamese kind. Uh... Like, this kind of spring roll is what I think of. Okay, then we had moon rock, which is a rock for the moon, and jelly roll. And what the jelly roll I was thinking of was the pastry. I was thinking of this, which is sometimes called Swiss roll. I think I would call this jelly roll if there was jelly inside of it. But then after I googled it, the first hit is actually uh, the wrapper jelly roll. So... I guess it's a legitimate phrase to more people if there's at least two legitimate meanings. Uh, so shout out to all the Jelly Roll fans out there. Um, yeah, and then I thought Rock and Roll was a nice revealer. Uh, so I kind of like it. Um, hopefully the theme was enjoyable for you. Um, the other themers, and I wrote this on the my constructor notes on the Wordplay blog and on expertinfo.com. The other themers I considered were... Um, black sesame which um has the same number of letters as black coffee so it could just be straight up replaced with black coffee but i thought sesame roll which i think of why well, I, I think i associate with dim sum i think sesame roll is maybe less well known than coffee roll perhaps um and black sesame is probably less well known than black coffee as well um i considered little finger like little rock arkansas and finger roll like in basketball although i don't know if i had a symmetric themer for it and then pet lobster uh pet rock lobster roll which actually i, I don't know how many people have, have pet lobsters um yeah i guess i can talk a little bit soon about how i actually thought thought was inspired to come up with this theme and how i found the themers but let, let's look through this puzzle first um maybe i can also point out some places where the cluing isn't mine um yeah, I would say that, um, okay, so I, I chose this Copeland because I'm a big fan of Aaron Copeland. Um, 
This is not my clue. Feature of five years presence from Lincoln to Harrison. I, th I think my clue was a question mark clue, lengthening shadow. And I think um, really the big change that the editing team made to the cluing was to, to take away, actually some of my favorite clues, to take away a lot of the, the wordplay clues, maybe to try to get it down to a Tuesday level. So um, in particular, the clues on these first two themers, Black Coffee and bread, Bed Spring, I had question mark clues for, and they, they clued them much more straightforwardly. But I kind of understand because I didn't have a question mark clue for, for Moon Jelly, and it's probably not good to have two thirds of the themers clued in one way and one third clued in a different way. And it's also a Tuesday, so I can kind of see it. Um, but my clue on Black Coffee was Java without the plugins, which I was pretty proud of <laughs> as a clue. Um, and my clue for Bed Spring was. Uh, support for a queen. By the way, what you're currently looking at is the except the last revision of the puzzle that I sent in before I got back the proofs for what would actually run in the paper. So um, ever since I was accepted, this is the puzzle that, that I sent in, right? Um, yeah, so I think that this puzzle, what it lacks a little bit is it lacks a little bit of wordplay in the cluing, uh, basically because some of my wordplay was turned straight to, <laughs> to make a, to make the the Tuesday level to make the puzzle at the Tuesday level, but it sort of wasn't made up for elsewhere. So that's one thing that, that I maybe don't sort of love. I had a kind of a modern troll here, kind of trivia on patent trolls, which I think is kind of an important topic these days, but okay, much more straightforward inventor's protection. Patent troll is probably pretty niche. Um, mostly they cleaned up the cluing. They maybe made it more their style. So like this is Pretty close to my original clue, which was Teller of a Tale Full of Sound and Fury per Macbeth. It's pretty much the same spirit, maybe just this is like how they prefer to clue it. Um, yeah. Moon Jelly, which is a thing that I kind of know about. There's some kind of beautiful photos of Moon Jelly. Um, basically, just a kind of. Are they kind of jellyfish, actually? Common jellyfish. It's a species of the genus genus Aurelia. But I think they're quite beautiful. Um, and hopefully, even if you don't know what it is, it's maybe kind of somewhat inferable. Um, yeah, go courting. That is actually my clue. I'm not a huge fan of this monogram, but I do like T. S. Eliot. So I also really like Henri Toulouse Lautrec. I remember seeing like his posters of the Moulin Rouge, um, like in my French textbooks when I was learning French. Yeah, so I I, I think this is I kind of like his style. It really sort of evokes the early 1900s to me. It's a bit a bit of a shame that's only half of his last name, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I would probably. Okay, I would probably redo this this bottom corner. Um, I will say that one thing they asked me to try to fix was this hailer. I agree that hailer is not good fill, but everything that I tried to refill this bottom with, uh, I think ended up being worse. Same thing with with, with resod. I think I could have fixed up the bottom a bit better, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, if, if wishes were fishes. Um. <laughs> Loco Citato, this is not my clue. Um, I would, I basically only know it as Loc Sit, but it's, I include it as bananas. I don't mind it being included as Loco Citato, though. Um, yeah, bison are on buffalo nickels, but I think they do technically portray bison. This makes me seem like I'm a big coin collector. I'm not, in fact, I, you'll, you can actually see on, on, <laughs> on this version that I had a different, um, Slightly different thing here. I had Baron, Onset, ABO, and ERs, and Dan instead of Dip, Abu. I think probably the issue is a Abu is better than ABO. It says Abu, Abu Dhabi. Um, yeah, that was my clue. Yeah, boonies. I really like Boonies. Um, I gotta say, in general, I think the fill is not that great in this puzzle. Uh, there's not there's not a whole lot of bonuses, uh, but Boonies is pretty nice. Um, I had this clue as Usain Bolt originally, but it's not really not really a big deal. I had this clue with like a really long trivia-ish clue. 
I, I think the um the edit was good. This one though, I had a, another question mark clue which which they didn't like, I guess, which was litter producer. I thought that was kind of a nice misdirect, but it's just something much much more sterile actually. Um, here, I actually originally submitted the clue Dolly-esque, which I liked. It's like a play on like Salvador Dolly, Dolly-esque. Um, but they actually used this clue, I mean, I don't know, maybe Robin Weintraub had the same idea, on a Robin Weintraub puzzle earlier this year, um, and then they've changed mine to sheepish. And I, I think one of the only reasons I have Ovine in here is because I kind of liked that clue. I think I would have reworked this section. So that's, uh, that's slightly upsetting, but <laughs> not that upsetting. Um, yeah, John of Salisbury is an incredible clue, and unfortunately it's not mine. John of Salisbury is like a, a person, but also it's a, like a British lavatory, right, the John in Salisbury. Mine was one that's been done before, John to Ringo, but this is maybe the best clue in the whole puzzle, it's not mine. Uh, <laughs> so, so they did add something nice. Um, yeah, so this is, you can see that in terms of what I sent in and, and my final revision and the uh, the published version, it's not really that different. Um, they, they changed that northeast corner a bit and they tuned down the cluing a bit, I think, but that that's their choice for Tuesday. Um, the thing I submitted originally uh, was more different. Um, you can see... Uh, my original fill here had ace as an enzyme ending, you know, like sucrase is the enzyme that breaks down sucrose. And so they asked if I could find some fill that didn't involve ace at the same time as they asked me to fix Haler. Um, I was able to fix ace um, with this add to ode stuff. Um, but then I also had to change uh, add on to Aaron, because you can't have both add on and add to, but I actually think it, it got better overall anyway with Aaron there. Um, yeah, so this was what I originally submitted. Um, I guess we can start talking about dates now. Um, I originally submitted uh, the puzzle on March 19th, 2021. Um, so that's like about 15 months ago. Uh, it was actually the third puzzle I ever submitted, so I think I got pretty lucky getting an acceptance that early. Um, it was accepted about three months after that, so June 16th, 2021. Uh, I got an email from, from Tracy Bennett saying, we like the theme, can you fix up this ace section and this Haler section? And so I submitted this one basically June 16th, basically one year ago. Uh, and then they, they liked it, and then it went into the queue, and it was in the queue for a year before before it appeared uh, today. So they say they they tried to bump up debuts to like a, a little bit sooner in the queue, but there's a pretty long backlog, I think. Um, maybe it depends on the day. I don't know, but that was my timeline. Submitted originally in March 2021, accepted in June 2021, appeared June 2022, um, for those of you who are curious. Um, this version that I sent in in March was actually not my first attempt at filling a grid with these themers. Um, my original attempt, which you know was never submitted anywhere, had the same themers, but you know slightly different grid structure. Um, I actually think that the the original thing that I came up with is, is actually a bit better in terms of fill, perhaps. Um, but what I didn't like about it was that there was such a narrow entrance to this northeast section and the southwest section. You have to basically get this single, um, this single entry point. And I really didn't like that, and so even though I had a full puzzle, I I, I tried to, to move things around. I lowered, right, I basically lowered the revealer to try to give myself more room to enter this corner. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the puzzle. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight. Um, if I were reviewing this puzzle, I would say I like the theme, but I don't think the fill and the cluing is anything special. Um, Still really psyched to be to be in the New York Times. Uh, <laughs> what was the um, a good question might be what was the inspiration for this puzzle? And that I can tell you was actually this puzzle from the New York Times, Monday, February eighteenth, twenty nineteen, which is by uh, oh, you can actually see Andrea Carlo 
Carla Michaels and um, and Leslie Rogers. Um, so, spoiler alert if you haven't done it yet, but the uh, the revealer in this one was Cap and Gown. And they had Night, Night, White Wedding, Mushroom Ball. So, Night, Cap, Night, Gown, White, Cap, which is a kind of mushroom, Wedding Gown. Actually, is White Cap a kind of mushroom? Mushroom Cap, Ball Gown. Uh, white Cap, what's a White Cap? Dictionary definition. <laughs> Is it building material? A small wave with the foamy, foamy crest. Okay, uh, it, it's a it's a wave term. Um, and when I solved this puzzle, like it took me a, a second to figure out what was happening, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I guess I don't. A mushroom ball, I guess, is like a a meat substitute. Yeah, meatball basically. Um, yeah, so I basically literally stole this format, <laughs> blank and blank, and, and three themers, and so I went looking for other blank X and Y phrases um, that would do, and I came up with rock and roll. And so what I did, for those of you who are curious, is I went to one look. This, this is a kind of low tech. Um, another thing you could do is you could search a word list, but I went to one look and I typed in like blank rock or star rock, and I went by commonness, and I tried to find some all the things that are kinds of rocks, right? So bedrock. Um, I don't think I tried shamrock because sham is probably hard to find in a phrase. Um, I didn't. I don't think I tried stuff like punk rock just because it sort of meant the same thing as the rock and rock and roll. Um, but I, I came up with a whole bunch of lists of rocks, and I came up with a bunch, a whole bunch of lists of rolls. Maybe, maybe it's better if I do this actually. Yeah, and then I tried to see if I could come come up with phrases. So so I did it manually on on one look. Um, yeah, I still have like the the notepad file, and then I tried to smush things together and then try to see what the letter counts were. And I came up with at least the ones that I just mentioned, um, right? Pet lobster, black sesame, little finger, and these. And it was nice that I could find a, a symmetric fitting set. Um, yeah. So what else should I talk about? Um, at the time that I uh, first started trying to make this puzzle, I think it was right after I had bought Crossfire. So I did use software um, that cost something. I think it cost something like $50. Um, let's see, how much does it cost, Crossfire? Yeah, it cost $50. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I know there's other paid options out there, other programs that you could use. Um, but if you didn't want to do that, you could actually use a free resource. So if you go on crosshair.org, there's actually a, quite a good built-in constructor. Um, so here I have loaded in just, just the puzzle that, uh, <laughs> my puzzle. Um, but you can easily uh, try to, you can add black squares, you can delete black squares, you can put in your themers, um, and it, there's a word list built in. And the word list is, I, I'm pretty sure it's just one of the, I think this is Pete Brodo's word list, as far as I can tell. But it'll, it'll try to fill it in for you. So, you know, at this point, basically, this is the only option. I don't think that's actually true. Because um, I think you can you can get away with, like, yeah, you can get, you get away with this. Which actually may be better than the fill that I have, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if you want to try to try your hand at constructing, you can easily try for free on Crosshair. Um, it has a reasonable word list. It's it's not the best, so you'd have to do sort of a lot of work um, trying to trying to get a clean puzzle. But yeah, I, I, I encourage you to try. There's a lot of other resources out there. Um, there's now a, a free word list that's quite good called Spread the Word List. Um, so if you have um, construction software, and you go looking for word lists for your for your dictionary when you're filling them in. I think this one, I think it's quite good. I when I actually submitted this puzzle, spread the word list didn't exist, so I used um, a Pete Broda's word list. Yeah, this is what I used in in my construction software, and it requires a lot of paring down. I mean, it's a humongous word list that that was sort of compiled. Um, I know you can also pay for the word list on Xword Info. I didn't, but but you can. Um, yeah, so maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll make another video about 
construction. I'm obviously, this is, I, I have one published puzzle, so I obviously know almost nothing about construction. But I can tell you a little bit about how I constructed mine, perhaps. Um, which is not this one, actually. <laughs> um, hopefully you found that somewhat interesting. Uh, I'm Like I said, I'm, I'm super psyched to have a puzzle in New York Times. Um, something I will brag about forever, probably. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow when I solve somebody else's Wednesday crossword. See you then.